What's up team? A lot of people asked me how I grind up my Ronin one month ago and what I would recommend them now or to do now. And I want to address that today. So we will start right here. What I did nine months ago was pretty much I had $100 in my roll. I did play last year, but I played like $6 spins, lost like 1k overall. Um, I was really recreational, didn't know much. Watched a little bit of Jake Harbour, just like really, really recreational playing. And lost a lot of money and then I started playing like hey let's take 100 bucks and start to grind, run it up and stream the entire thing that was when I dropped out of university and you know I want to just address this a little bit at that time I was like trying to crush on um, poker stars I played like some $1.180 goals with some hot 55 hot 110 all these tournaments like these $1 buy-ins but the problem on stars that I usually have which I will show you guys right now is when we look at the lobby here, is that the problem with Pokestars generally is in these small fields, there are just way too many people registered to make a deep run. For example, if you take a look here in this one, the big 55, there's currently 3.8k registered this tournament. 3.8 thousand people. And when you're new to the game, you still have to improve a lot, and you think you can crush if you're better than them, but in a field of 4,000 players, the problem is you don't make final tables. Like, you make a final table once a month, maybe more often, you know. But the struggle is real, and there's just a lot of variance to it. And it feels really frustrating when you keep on registering these tournaments, 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 and you always bust out semi deep. You know, you get 20th place there. Like, let's see, you know, 20th place in the big 55 right now. Let's have a quick look here. 20th place pays, you know, like 5 bucks. You know, you. That's 10 times your buy-in. When you make this entire deep run, you played really well, and then you just lose the flip there with Ace King to Pocket Knights, and you're like, fuck, dude, that's really frustrating. Then you try again, try again, try again, and like the frustration adds up, you get a little bit tilted, you play worse, and it's just like, it's so tough. So the same thing happened to me nine months ago. I mean, I wasn't struggling that hard. I grind up my $100 roll pretty fast, like 200 bucks, but the struggle was still there, and I never really felt like... Uh, I accomplished much. So what I did was I took 20 bucks of those 100 bucks and transferred it to Full Tilt, which was still running back then. And since it was like the same company as PokerStars, you could swap money like pretty easy, uh, easily. And I started to play some $5 MTTs with those $20 bankroll. Not proper bankroll management, but those were the only tournaments that were running on Full Tilt. And I was like, man, I have 20 bucks over there. Let's try it. And that's what I did. And within just a few games, which is here, actually let's move a little bit over here, 5100, these are the amount of tournaments I played, this is the amount of dollar, euros won actually, I um, spun it up fairly quickly, you know, I won a tournament here for 350, and over here for 280, and obviously it goes down a little bit later when I played higher stakes and wasn't that great yet, but what it comes to is that I grind up my $100 roll pretty quickly to like around 800, like this is probably, probably around 1k. And suddenly you sit there with a 1k bank when you can play like $10 tournaments. So these smaller fields just helped me out a lot and that's what I would recommend to you guys. Like these tournaments in full tilt usually had around 100 runners, sometimes 400. And that's the thing I want to like give as a tip to you guys. Um, quickly opening my 888 lobby over here because I prepared a little bit of something here. I'm sponsored by 888 guys but it didn't pay me to make this video, I just do this to you for you. But what we see here, usually in these tournaments, is that they are just not as big, you know. In this tournament, there's 318 runners, so you will make the final table way more often, you feel more confident. And obviously you will not win as much, but overall, you just feel, like you feel the feel, you have the feeling of accomplishment, you make more final tables, you get into those ICM spots, and you just improve a lot as a player, and that's what I would recommend you guys, you know, go to the smaller side, doesn't have to be 8 at 8, even though I would recommend it, guys. I think it's pretty good. And, you know, just start mixing in these tournaments. If you look at the schedule now, you know, just play the Turbo DP, or maybe take a satellite and step to the streets. First deposit of 3 roll, 500 bucks. Mix in all the free rolls. There's some, like, there's some other tournaments, like the 3K Unexpected Giveaway, you know. You get the ticket there all the time. And just mix in these tournaments, and I think you will grind up a roll pretty quickly, guys. So that is number one what I would do. Number two is start studying guys, like get in the lab or whatever you want to choose to study and start. You have to start somewhere just by watching Twitch poke. I mean you pick up some things, 
but you will never learn as much as if you really sit in front of your PC and watch somebody go over hands and talk about it or talk about what hands to open, what not to open. And I think that's about it, guys. I hope I could give you a little help. Feel free to ask anything in the comments. I will gladly answer them and hope to help you a little bit improve and cr move up the stakes and crush at higher stakes as well. So thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I see you on the felt. Good luck.